Hello everyone and welcome to Ohio Nicole Creates. This week I am creating a new page in an art journal that I am starting looking at women through the ages. So I'm trying a few different techniques this week and I'm using ephemera from the Uprinkled uh, company who sends out these excellent packages and I'm specifically using um, ephemera from their out and about kit. And to create my page, I wanted to try using alcohol inks. I've seen a lot of great videos and a lot of great um, techniques with alcohol inks, so I was really excited to try them out um, and try to match them with this woman in canoe image. So the idea that I had uh, when I was putting together this particular page spread was the idea of movement, of water and kind of the lines and um, back and forth current of maps. So I am just playing with alcohol inks here, adding in a bit of the um, fluid that helps it to move around. And I did um, make a little bit of a mistake as I was playing with alcohol inks. And I didn't realize that there were different inks for just regular ink blending and then alcohol inks for epoxy. So some of my inks were actually originally intended to be used with epoxy. Um, so if you are new to alcohol inks, that's definitely something to um, to check out and to look forward uh, or, or to look for <laughs> on the label. Um, but what I did was I ended up separating them out after I realized that that darkest of blue was an epoxy based ink. And then I just added a lot of blending fluid and a lot of blending solution and Played, uh, played with them. The particular brand that I'm using are Pinata alcohol inks, and I will, of course, um, provide a list of what I used uh, below. And I found it was really fun to add the inks on and to use my heat gun and a straw and just kind of play and try to get these wave-like textures, uh, adding in different shades of blue and different shades of um, purples and a little bit of gold in there as well. And you can see my my daughter here was helping me out <laughs> with this particular page spread. So you'll see her little hands pop up every, every once in a while here on the page. <clears throat> my goal for this particular uh, piece of yuppo paper was just to get everything covered and to get some nice interesting textures um, as I mentioned before just kind of playing around and seeing what will happen. I knew that in addition to the waves I wanted to have some kind of focal image and so I thought a moon behind the woman on the canoe would be nice and so here you can see my daughter and I just kind of playing with some different um, different shades and different textures and and um, seeing what would happen. This is definitely not a how-to video as <laughs> as much as maybe a um, just to see how things work and, and see what not to do <laughs> with these inks but it was a great first run and we got some usable pieces out of it so that was that was a lot of fun. I really love creating with my daughter because she not only has great ideas, but she sees things a lot differently than I do. And it's just a lot of fun um, to collaborate with her on different projects. Uh, she's six years old, so she um, definitely sees the world differently than I do. One tip I can give you is that the heat gun will melt the yuppo paper. Um, so I... Uh, melt it a little bit on accident and that's fine you can just cover it up or cut it off um, but that is something to look out for to see how my um, elements are coming together i went ahead and did a fussy cutting of this woman in a canoe which came from um, a magazine advertisement and i just really loved this image i loved the kind of 1920s 1930s look I loved the um, hair and also the striped shirt so I wanted to be sure to get as much of this image as I could um, for the final journal page and I plan to kind of put her in the corner and then arrange different media around her 
I really enjoyed this image of a pocket watch, which is on one of the catalog pages that was sent in the kit, but I wanted to also give it the theme of travel or movement. And so I had the idea, or actually I should say my six-year-old had the, pre <laughs> the, the idea of painting a ship inside the pocket watch. Um, so what I decided to do was use watercolors to create a sunset and some waves with movements and in order to get a little bit more depth I use bleed proof white mixed with um, just some different watercolors to get waves and I paint the watch gold and add in a small sailboat and I have to say out of all of the elements that I prepared for this specific page spread I really enjoyed this little pocket watch the most. Um, it was just really fun and I feel that it tied in the various elements of the page very well. In order to finish off the frame, I'm painting with a metallic gold to give a little bit of a sheen and then I am going back in and painting the sailboat once the water is dry and just using a little bit of bleed proof white to create the um, feel of sails. There's not a lot of detail here, just enough to give the viewer kind of the overall impression of a sailboat or of a ship kind of uh, out at sea. I find I really love these kits because I will go through them several times when I am completing a page and every time I go through I see something that I didn't notice before or that um, gives a really good uh, idea for how to incorporate different pieces together. So I've pulled out some additional pieces, a postcard and some canceled postage stamps, and I will start to arrange various pieces on the page um, just to kind of see how they look. The watercolored piece that I have here um, on the side was actually from a technical manual about electricity and circuitry and it talked a lot about currents and um, different kinds of currents and I thought with the theme of the page having water that that was a really neat element so I just um, did a little bit of watercolor over it in blues and um, purples and then added in some gold around the edges and I will end up using that longer piece to conceal the seam between the two pages. So once I have kind of decided on the major pieces that I'm going to use, I go ahead and I glue down the Yuppo paper alcohol ink spreads that I did. And I did find out that I needed to um, put a significant amount of glue on and to weight them down because that Yuppo paper is very thick and it's kind of got a um, a plasticky feel to it um, which I think is what allows the alcohol inks to move so freely um, so if you do use yellow paper in a journal just be sure to take your time and allow everything to try and then once I have the pattern pretty much where I want it I look at other elements that can conceal the places where the paper doesn't cover and I could have used a larger piece of paper for this, but I was trying to use up scraps and with collage, um, it's really great because you can use lots of different pieces to make kind of a holistic image. So I've glued the current um, piece here and now I'm just deciding where exactly I want to have my canoe lady. And I knew that I wanted to leave her on a relatively clutter-free page um, so that we could see a lot of those beautiful vibrant waves behind her and I added in some gold just to give a little bit of a contrast and a little bit of a shine. I really loved this um, postcard which was a postcard from a young woman to her nan and she was writing about a trip that she had to Perth and um, uh, how much her mother enjoyed shopping and how she would write later. So I used a little bit of that postcard as an image um, to kind of anchor this idea of a young woman on a journey. 
and included some stamps. One of the really excellent parts of the this kit were, was the amount of maps included and I really wanted to use this map pocket that was included which is a sewn pocket with several different um, folders or pouches to put things in and I just love the movement of maps and the colors of maps and I found that the map itself was a really great inspiration for bringing all of the elements of the page together and so um, as I'm bringing these elements together I try to use that blue and yellow and red that we often see in maps. Into the pockets I am tucking some badge, um, baggage claim tickets and some transit tickets and other kind of um, uh, movement related <laughs> um, items and I glued the pocket watch on. And then I'm also gluing some phrases here uh, that are translated into Spanish. One of them says, um, beware of my birth. And then the others say things like, how long will we be here? How long does it take? When will we arrive? So just these questions that are related to, um, to travel. To help fill up the page, I wanted to add in some extra pieces that would just offer a little bit of dimension so i am looking through um this is an a book on trigonometry and geometry which was a correspondence course and it had just so many interesting diagrams and um descriptions of different mathematic terms and so the paragraph that i chose is on how math is used in the arts and how it's used um, to specifically uh, help with ratio and perspective. And I thought that ratio and perspective were such interesting words to consider um, when we think about journey and when we think about how we grow with the journey. So I definitely wanted to include those. Um, I also picked up another piece of a map from um, a bus schedule or a train schedule actually, um, but it was just a little bit too white. So I go ahead and I watercolor it and bringing back in those, those colors from the map of the yellow and the red that we often see in um, road maps. <laughs> I don't think many people uh, buy road maps anymore. I learned uh, to drive with maps and I learned to travel with maps. So um, I very much like <laughs> that look. Um, so once I have these colored the way that I want, and once they're nice and wrinkled and textured, I just go ahead and glue them in, just layering in an interesting way so that um, I'm hopefully they will uh, create a juxtaposition that is interesting to the viewer. This is the bottom piece of the postcard that I ripped earlier and I really loved it because on the bottom it said another one for the collection <laughs> and I thought about trips and how we collect trips and experiences and I uh, I just really I really liked that so I wanted to include it in the page um, I have our moon here that we uh, colored and partially melted. Um, so what I did was I just kind of cut the, ha uh, the top half off so that it could be resting in the top of the sky here and still give that kind of illumination feel. I went ahead and painted with the pink, the blue, and the um, yellow to have these phrases, these translated phrases, um, match the overall color. And finally, I uh, was feeling <clears throat> that the straight edge of the map was um, a bit harsh, so I went ahead and I added in a doily and wrote a short poem on the doily about paths home and roads home and, and, and that kind of thing, and uh, added that in um, along with a couple extra pieces of, of the handwriting from that postcard. And that finishes up 
this page on journeys and um, I hope you enjoyed the process. If you've done any art journaling, I would love to see it. Everyone have a great week and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.